So it is my turn now, is it? Oh uh, yeah, hi Elliot. Unfortunately, it is your turn to have your 14 heart event ripped from you for YouTube content. Sorry about that. Very well, I will endure this charade if I must. Depressing as it is, I will give the performance of a lifetime. Yeah, Elliot's a pretty interesting character. I mean, you get to pick what book he writes. That's kind of interesting. It's a bit weird that he looks like a character off the front of a romance novel. And it was really awkward when I left his house immediately and ended up being forcibly kissed by him in a boat. What? You expect me to keep doing these marriage ceremonies? Seriously? Come on, just move on already. Jeez. I gotta say, I really like Elliot's spouse room. I think I like it the most at the moment. I really like this, like, you've got a library downstairs kind of aesthetic. I don't really know why there's barrels in the corner. Is he brewing something? I don't know, but it's nice. Right, so the way Elliot's 14 heart event works is really particular. You need a whole eight days without any events for it to work, because the whole thing happens across eight days. So long as you're clear, as soon as you walk out onto the porch at the beginning of the day, it'll trigger it. Alright, Elliot, what's happening then? We got there, a letter? Number 54, I just received the most exciting news. It's very short notice, but I've been invited to do a reading tour of my book, The Rise and Fall of Planet Yazo. Yeah, I did pick sci-fi. I didn't think it would be that bad of a title, though. I'll be out of town for a week. Will you be okay? Of course I'll be fine, I barely know you. Wow, these options are... Oh, they're not very good. I'll just be nice, I guess. I'll miss you very much, my dear. I'm sure that you won't. I suggest that you run immediately for your freedom. And I'll write to you every day, of course. Well, at least Elliot gets to escape, I guess. I leave early tomorrow morning. I need to pack. So here we are, day one of the letter event, and I just gotta go outside and read a letter. That's all there is to it. Number 54, my love. I've just arrived in Grampleton, which is actually a real place, and not just something made up for Stardew Valley Expanded. To start the tour, I've forgotten how hectic the city is. The streets are packed with people. They either seem in a mad hurry or lost in a daze, unaware of their surroundings. I miss Pelican Town already. I begin the tour this evening at a local bookstore. I must admit I am becoming a bit nervous at the thought of public speaking. My stomach feels as if it's been twisted into a soft pretzel and doused with a spicy cheese dip. Wish me luck. Love, Elliot. Yes, I hope you have a peaceful night and weren't too scared all alone in that big house. My dear number 54, the first reading went well, though the audience was a bit smaller than I'd hoped. I sold enough copies of my book to pay for my, I confessed it, hotel room. In a few hours, I leave for Zuzu City. If yesterday's reading was a warm-up, this one will be a true napalm blast. Napalm blast? Wow, that's really dark. I miss you very much. Remember to eat well. Oh, and don't forget the leftover crab cakes I put in the fridge. Love, Elliot. There are no crab cakes in the refrigerator. I checked. Didn't have time to do anything. My sweet number 54. Last night in Zuzu City was quite the experience. It seems there's a large literary scene here. A few dozen people showed up at my reading. I even signed a couple of autographs. It's strange to be seen as someone important. It's all a matter of framing, a grand illusion. For truly I am no one special, only your devoted Elliot, as always. Jeez, this, this is really creeping me out. It's way too intimate for me. Currently I'm alone in my hotel room. Ingesting a Joja value meal. Should this be called food or edible matter? I needn't long brood, it must be the latter. Wow. 
poetry about Jojo food. Didn't expect to read that. Wow. I look forward to returning home soon. Hope you enjoyed the crab cakes. There weren't any crab cakes. Nobody made any crab cakes. This is just a horrible lie. <coughs> oh, actually, he did put crab cakes in the fridge. Oh, I feel bad for doubting him now. Wow, they look really good too. Loads of stats on them. Gonna have to give these a taste. <coughs> oh, wow, that was really tasty. What the heck? What the hell are you doing here, Hamish? I was at a party nearby and I needed a place to crash. Are you drunk? Or high or something? What's going on? Ah, oh, don't be stupid. I'm, I'm perfectly sober. <laughs> okay then, back to the letters. Ooh, this one's just a straight up poem. In dreams when graced with lofty view, I gaze upon the sunlit sea. What shores I travel to, but time now clouds my memory. There is but one eternal place where I shall someday pass beyond. In Valley Deer, where my love waits, our little home beside the pond. Elliot. Oh, jeez. This guy's, this guy's really theatrical, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a real person at all. My dear number 54, I won't bore you with any more details about my readings. They are mostly the same. I'm sure your time has been much more exciting. Uh, no, I have literally just slept constantly, so no. I can't wait to return and see what progress has been made. You're gonna be very disappointed, Elliot, because no progress has been made whatsoever. On these long travels between towns, I amuse myself, closing my eyes and envisioning the farm. I see kegs pulsing with sweet wine, a furnace ablaze with precious ore, and our little kitchen. With the smell of cinnamon and nutmeg. There's a lot to enjoy. Just don't stay out too late in the mines, my love. It's dangerous in there. If you must go, bring plenty of food. Love, Elliot. Well, I do absolutely none of those things. Uh, so there's nothing to worry about. Um, yeah. Number 54, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. Oh, jeez. Not this quest. Oh, the infamous pants quest. No, I'm just going to put that one aside. I don't care about that one. My dear number 54, this will be my last letter before I return home. I've had a fine trip. Though nothing too exciting, it's been nice to meet people who enjoy my work. But I'm eager to return home. I look forward to the comfort of our little house, the satisfying farm work, a home-cooked meal, and most of all, cozying into the flannel sheets with you. Oh, jeez. Feels so wrong reading this. These letters are made for somebody who actually loves Elliot. Ugh. Now we've reached the day before the final day of the eight days, I should wake up and find Elliot in the house. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh god, this is really creepy. He's like literally watching me sleep. Number 54, I'm back. I have to forcibly kiss you, I do apologise. Ah, oh, I've missed you. You know, considering this is all a charade, Elliot, you, you, you put on one hell of a performance, I've got to give it to you. One drop of the big city and I'm quenched. I prefer being back here with you. You really should have stayed in the city. Well, I guess it's back to the old routine once again. If the old routine is being immediately divorced and heartbroken, then yeah, sure. All right, let's see if Elliot's got anything else to add. It's good to be back. Oh, boy. This whole thing's so morbid under these conditions. Well, well, there you have it. If you really liked Elliot, you would have been really satisfied with that, having lots of letters about his journey. Um, it was completely wasted on me. Good on Elliot for giving such a good performance, as it was. But, uh, yeah. I guess I have to now yeet a novelist out into the street. Where the heck is that guy with my pants? Alright there, thanks for watching the video. Just gotta say a quick thank you for 3,000 plus subscribers. We'll probably put some kind of video out before the end of the year, but just in case we don't, thanks a lot! 
Can't believe this many people enjoy watching me suffer.